Hey there, family. Welcome to another video by Psych2Go, made possible only through your love and support. We aim to explore everyday situations through the glasses of simple psychology. Disgust is a strong sense of aversion towards something we fear might violate us in any way. It's usually rooted in prejudice and will often manifest as avoidance or outright hostility towards another person. Disgust shares many similarities with hatred, contempt, and dislike, but it shouldn't be confused from your disinterest. It leads to increased feelings of repulsiveness as a whole. People with social anxiety don't feel repulsed by the person. They feel repulsed by the situation and themselves. The irony is that when you're afraid of other people being repulsed by you, you give out signals other people translate in a way that they think you're repulsed by them. So, how can you tell when other people are emotionally disgusted by you? Here are seven telltale signs that can help you figure out if someone is repulsed by you. One, they keep their distance from you. Physical proximity is a good indicator of another person's attitude towards you. How much of their personal space they invite you into can tell you how comfortable they are around you. So when you start to notice the other person always making an effort to keep their distance from you and only you, then it might mean that they find your presence off-putting or unnerving. Two, they give you the cold shoulder. When someone feels disgusted by you, they will most likely not want to talk to you or even be seen with you at all. Sure, they will be civil if you approach them or start a conversation with them, but nothing more. They won't make any effort to engage, they'll look away when you're talking, and give curt, dismissive responses, hoping that you'll get the hint and back off. People who are less polite might even tell you to your face, I don't want to talk to you, or just ignore you completely. Three, they're always in a hurry to leave. Another way you can tell if you're driving people away is by how eager they are to stay and be around you. Do you get the feeling they want to get away from you as fast as they can? Have you noticed them avoiding you or making a hasty exit when they see you? Are they quick to come up with flimsy excuses to leave when you approach them? While all these things might mean that they're simply too busy to spend time with you, you shouldn't rule out the possibility of them feeling repulsed by you either. Four, they never accept your invitations. The reason why other people don't accept your invitations sometimes isn't necessarily because they're disgusted by you. It might be that they're too busy, otherwise preoccupied, or simply uninterested in the plans you've made. On the other hand, if they're quick to decline every single time and lie or make excuses about why they're not available when you know it's not the case, they probably have some sort of problem with you and dislike spending time with you. Five, they pretend to be distracted. Pretending to be distracted is a clear nonverbal way of communicating to someone that they can't stand to be around you or interact with you. Usually when someone is talking to a person that they're repulsed by, they will try to look busy with their phone constantly checking their watch or pretend to be on the phone with somebody else. This is so you will sense that they have somewhere else to be or something else to do and for you to leave them alone. Six, they don't share personal details. Repulsion is often followed by others being wary towards you and they share as little information about themselves as possible. They'll give you vague answers to even the simplest or most straightforward questions and they don't feel comfortable talking to you about personal matters. This is especially telling if the person is usually open and trusting towards others, but very secretive and unforthcoming towards you, even after a long acquaintance. And seven, their expression changes when you're around. Try as we might to seem polite and mask our true feelings towards someone else, sometimes our facial expressions just give it away. It's particularly hard to conceal our emotions when it comes to displeasure and aversion towards something or someone. Most people scrunch their noses, press their lips, frown, and furrow their eyebrows when they meet someone they detest. While all these signs don't always mean that someone is repulsed by you when taken on their own, it becomes more likely when they're more frequent and consistent, especially if you have no other possible explanations for their behaviors towards you. Consider what you might be doing that is turning people off from you and assess whether or not it's something you can or should change about yourself. The fact that someone is repulsed by you doesn't really say anything definite about your character if it's only a few people who feel this way. It might actually speak more about your relationship with them or how they treat others than who you are as a person. You should also be careful not to misread the situation and let your own anxiety, neuroticism, or insecurity trick you into thinking others are disgusted by you when in truth, they're not. 
Do these points make it easier for you to distinguish others' attitudes towards you? Is it possible you were ignoring some of these signs even when you knew something was off? Please let us know in the comments below. Also share this video with those you think might benefit from it. Stay tuned for more psychology, and as always, thanks for watching.